everyone, so I was tagged by Beezer Nation to do this tag. So I'm just going to go straight into the questions. The first one is heels or flats? Now I would actually say, because I have more of one, I'd say heels, but in the daytime it is a nightmare for me to wear heels. I don't know why, I feel fine at nighttime when I'm wearing heels. Maybe it's because I know I can't just go home and change. It's, you know, I just have to, it's more glamorous and more diva-esque to wear heels at night time, so I feel my brain is more inclined to, like, deal with it. But in the daytime, I just, for the life of me, I have tried. I've ended up going to Primark to buy some flats because I could not walk in the heels I was wearing. But I, for some reason, I just can't seem to wear heels at daytime. What are your go-to shoes? Um, probably either my brogues, my tan brogues, or like a pair of black like flats. Something simple and straight to the point. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to show you what they are, but they're my tan brogues and my flats, my black flats, because I never have seemed to know what to wear. I don't really have that many flats either, so I just go for those ones. What's your favorite shoe trend at the moment? I am loving wedges. Oh my god. They are coming in different shapes and sizes. I love wedges. I've never been a such a big fan of wedges, but oh my god, they are so, so hot, so edgy. Wedges are amazing. Just the way they look, and they're so, so comfortable. I want to get so many pairs this autumn, um, fall, and um, yeah, I look forward to it. They're, they're really nice statement type piece. So, wedges. What's your least favourite shoe trend? Probably clogs. They are so disgustingly ugly. I am sorry. If you own a pair of clogs, I am so sorry, but I do not like those things. I can't call them shoes, because... I don't even know if it's a trend. But at some point, a lot of people were wearing them. Clogs and... Um, what are the other ones? Those rubber like material shoes with like holes in them. What are they called? I have no idea, but they're disgusting. I'm sorry, they're nasty. Yeah, they're just not nice. I just don't like them. So, yeah. What's your most expensive shoe? My Aldo um, Tribal Inspired Wedges. These I had to buy. I bought it full price because when I saw it, I just fell instantly in love with them. Um, they look like that basically. They're so so cute. Do you know what? I have not worn this yet. No, I have not worn this yet. But they've just been sitting there, but they're so cute. They were £65. I just had to close my eyes and buy them because they look so good. I want to get the other one, but I'm not sure if they still have it. But um, those shoes are just so nice. They're so tribal and like African looking. Um, what are your most wanted pair? Well, I'm going to, I'm getting them anyway, but I want some shoes with spikes, with studs and spikes on them. And also I want a pair of Jeffrey Campbells. I don't know why, but I'm, I'm actually in love with those boots now. They're really like, really like something you'd, you'd definitely stand out in. I really want a pair of Jeffrey Campbells. I don't know why, but they're so cute. Either that or a pair of heels, platforms with, with glitter and um, spikes or one of the one of the other and also I want some leopard print wedges open toe wedges as well so any of those ones what's your most embarrassing shoe story hmm okay well these sh these shoes I don't have anymore I had to sell them because there was one point where I was literally broke and had to sell most of my stuff I felt so bad afterwards. Sold a lot of my stuff on eBay, but um, it was my twenty-first. Um, I had I went I had a, a birthday party, well, sort of a little thing, um, in a club in Manchester, and I just with my few of my friends, and um, we were having so much fun, and so we had like a little boob to ourselves. If you live in Manchester, if you know the club boutique, that's where it was. Um, and you know we got drunk and stuff, and a little tipsy, and. I followed my friend into the toilet and there's a little like a little argument in the toilet. It was so funny because one of my friends was literally arguing with the, the toilet attendant. It was hilarious. So I literally like ran into the toilet and I was holding my camera at the time because I was taking pictures as well. Holding my camera 
and these were like black platforms really like they're really high and um they were fine to walk in and then like i walked in i was sort of like running into the toilet and literally walk in i went you landing on my bum flat on the floor um i think the floor was either slippery or was water on it i literally like slid and fell flat my camera broke that's how hard i hit the floor it was so embarrassing there was, there was people in the toilet there waiting to go into the toilet and stuff and they were just laughing i was laughing as well because i thought it was quite funny but oh my bum hurt like the bone the back it was horrible like i just it was so funny but it was embarrassing at the same time but i've i've had over over um situations where i've literally tripped and fallen like i had like it was sometime at uni where i was going down a slope i was wearing my ugg boots and i slipped and there were people behind me and they were laughing their heads off and yes that's happened quite a few times actually um, when I was back at uni pick a shoe and share a story I don't have one to share a story about like this is why I didn't want to do this tag because I couldn't answer one of the questions like I don't have a shoe story I really really don't does this count if I don't have a, sh a story to tell like is it really bad if I, if I can't answer that question? I'm really sorry, I really I really don't have a shoe story. Apart from that one I've just told you, that could probably be the story for it, so sorry. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Now believe it or not, I don't own many pairs of shoes because I had to sell some of them because I was literally broke at some point and I've had to throw away quite a lot of shoes. So I'd probably say under 50 pairs, like that's literally nothing. You know, so I am stepping up my shoe game in the next few months. I already have a list of shoes I'm buying and I cannot wait, but I don't have that many shoes right now. Um, yeah, I had to sell quite a lot of my shoes, so I wasn't very happy with that, but it was like, I was really, literally really desperate, so I had just had to do that. When was the first time you wore heels? Gosh. I cannot for the life of me remember probably like my first ever wedding when I was like a bridesmaid or something I don't even know if I wore heels for that or not but it was it's a long long time I don't even know what my first pair of heels were that's how long ago it was but um I'm sure I was I was quite young I don't know but it was a long time ago so yeah how much do you spend in shoes um recently I haven't really been buying shoes and if I have been buying shoes I've been buying from Primark or New Look I'd probably say like I get like two pairs a month which isn't really much um on a really on a really like a really bad month where like I have not had much money or anything like yeah two pairs um but the highest I've spent on the pair of shoes was 65 pounds I try to not go for full price shoes like Topshop have them, one of the most amazing shoes and I just cannot bring myself to spend £80 for a pair of shoes when I can get them from eBay or get them on sale, you know, so it, as time goes on I want to steer away from Primark shoes because they do do some good shoes, don't get me wrong, but like they're flats, if you know about Primark and if you, you you know, buy from there their pumps their flats don't last very long so you're having to repurchase the same pairs of shoes and so, so I'd rather invest on in a really good pair of shoes from somewhere a, bit, a little bit more pricier than having to keep rebuying but the, the thing about me I am more like <laughs> quantity over quality sometimes for things just for shoes not like clothes and whatever um, I would always keep shopping in Primark but it's nice to be able to like have some more like expensive shoes that can last a long time and better quality where are your favorite places to buy shoes I would have to say when I'm feeling like I can't afford other places I go to Primark New Look, Topshop, Aldo but not frequent I would only go for like sale stuff in Aldo office sometimes uh, but that's pretty rare but those places have you got a pair of shoes you regret purchasing? Not really, because if I do don't if I don't like something, I just go return it straight away. So I wouldn't. I don't have a pair of shoes I don't, I've never worn, or well, I do never worn, but not that I regret purchasing it. So no. Show your favorite pair of shoes. 
Well, as of right now, as of right now, it will have to be these boots because if you watched my previous haul, I talked about them and I haven't worn them yet, but they're so my favorite buy. They're so, so cool. I'm getting some more. These are the ones that looked like the ones that Kelly Rowland wore in, on X Factor, but I have found, I have found those boots, but more like ankle boots, but in a different color, and I am going to get them. I can't tell you where I'm getting them from yet, because I want to get them first, and then I can let you guys know when I do buy them, when I do a haul, but I have found the exact same, the, the way the heel, the wedge is shaped like hers, and oh, I cannot wait. And other shoes as well, I'll let you guys definitely know when I do a shoe haul. So that's all the questions. I tag people in the bottom description box. I can't remember everyone's names right now. So if I've tagged you, please do this. Everyone can do it as well if you want to do a video response. And that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you in my next video. Bye guys.